Uh, so before we award our teams, we want to give a special shout out to all the teachers who brought this experience to the classroom. Um, I can tell you it is, um, I almost got emotional there. Oh my God, I was thinking about all my teachers and all the stuff, amazing stuff that my teachers have done for me. Kids, we all know that we wouldn't be where we are without our teachers. I'm really getting emotional. Oh my God, I was not expecting this. So thank you teachers for everything that you do. You guys put a lot of time and effort into this and we want to specifically uh, give an award out to the best teacher award and that goes to <laughs> Mr. Devin Franklin and he is from the Discovery School at Hebron Middle School. Woo! So I would like for Mr. Devin Franklin to get on the screen and to say a couple of words. And we also have some questions for you. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and we can see you. Excellent. Well, I'm here with some of my coders and I know they're really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, just like you, I, I'm feeling a little emotional as well. Uh, this has been such a great opportunity, such a great uh, competition. We've enjoyed it so much and I'm so honored. Thank you. Awesome. Glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, so we do have some questions for you. Uh, how was your experience throughout the competition? I think it was fantastic uh, from from start to end. Um, the, the opportunity to be able to use uh, the Coder Z platform and be able to get some experience with programming robots. I mean, I think all of our students here were I just robots are inherently interesting, so they left with the opportunity. Uh, and then we've been so appreciative of uh, a team viewer for making it uh, possible from even before the competition started, like sending us uh, some stuff to get all the students engaged in it, uh, you know, building up their their teams and giving the uh, the impression of like a, like an esports team. I know we've got some really competitive kids here and they've been working really hard to try and, and max out their points the whole competition. So we've been thrilled. That makes my heart so, 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 so happy. You have no idea. Um, now, what kind of skills and experience did your students learn throughout the process? Skills and experience. Oh, I mean, so much. Um, so I mean, there's obviously at the, you know, at the surface level, you get the introduction to the computer programming, the coding. Uh, and I know, like I said, we have a lot of students here that are, I think are interested in doing that down the road career wise. They understand that robotics is, you know, the future. Um, so those fundamental skills at, from the computer science level in terms of thinking algorithmically and uh, being able to apply mathematical reasoning, proportionality and geometry, like that's that's been incredible the whole way. And then beyond that, uh, you know, the way that the competition is structured, they, they've been able to work on those sort of uh, those soft skills, those 21st century skills that they can apply in any field, like okay. collaboration and communicating with their team members and trying to think creatively about how to solve some of these problems. So yeah, I mean the, the the skills that they've learned from computer science to more broadly, I think are are going to be very valuable down the road. For sure, and I, I definitely I'm happy that you pointed out the soft skills because during the robotics competition, it's not just you yourself and I. You you have to really work as a team and in everyday life, whether you're a teacher, whether you're an engineer, whether you, no matter what, you have to work with other people, and that that's such a great point. Um, last question, is there anything inspiring you want to say to the kids who really like coding and think of it as something they might want to do in the future? I would just say that thanks to platforms like CoderZ and, and TeamViewer, like if that's something you're interested in, something you want to do, and there's certainly a need for it. And, and there are there are opportunities out there like this one that, we're, that we've been so thankful for. And so uh, if you that's something that you desire. I would suggest just like these guys that you surround yourself with other people that are uh, similarly interested and that you uh -huh. work together and collaborate. And, you know, there's no limit to how far you can go. Listen, Mr. Devin Franklin, preach that to the choir, to the back of the room. <laughs> preach that as, as loud as you can. Thank you so much for being amazing. And thank you for your team backing you thank up. You all. <laughs> it. So for our next commercial break, uh, let, we're going to watch a video from the team called Little Omegas from the Temecula Preparatory School in California. And the teacher is Ms. Kristen Mattingly. 